Hey folks, exercise number two is about animating a ball that moves across the screen. It's always a good idea to create your own reference material to study, especially if you have some objects lying around. When doing this, make sure to toss each ball with a different amount of force so you get different results. So, when you go back to your computer, I think you should analyze the motion of the object frame by frame. This image captures the location of the ball every second frame. You can add a floor grid, trace the path of the ball, and make the center location every two frames. This will give you a layout drawing. In this segment, I'm using a large brush to place a dot at each location. This is a helpful tool to keep volumes in check. I'll later go back with a thin brush and sketch each ball. Here's a reveal of the motion test of the tracing. There's definitely room for improvement, and I could spend more time improving the quality of the drawings if I wanted to make this perfect, but I think it's time to move on to something else. Right now I'm creating my own path of action here. I'm adding closely placed center points at the top end of the arc, and that's going to help indicate slow movement of the ball. As the line or the path of action curves downwards, I'm spacing the center points farther away, and this is going to help increase the speed of the object. Next, it's time to sketch the rough layer of animation, then go back and adjust the volumes for continuity, and then trace over with some cleaner line work. If you're really happy with the movement at that point, then you might want to finish the animation and save it out. Alright, quick review. Go ahead and study some reference videos, hopefully you can make your own. You should draw a path of action and figure out the timing. And then I feel you should refine your animation one pass at a time. Hope this video was helpful. Go give it a try. Thank you for watching.